Number four, tracking that progress. You know, remember, we talked about how you've got to make sure that you have something in detail. What exactly are you going to be doing and what are you willing to give up? Remember, you got that sheet for free at BlairCritch.com slash happy and grateful. So did you fill it out? What are you willing to do and what are you willing to give up and what date are you going to do all of that by? You got to be specific and you got to be detailed, right? So track your progress. That's what we're working on now. So for me, I like checklists. I like to know that I've done what I need to do every single day in order to get to the goal. Make a checklist or a spreadsheet that works for you. What are the daily actions that need to be done in order to get to that goal? So for example, if you're trying to lose weight, okay, for me, I know how much I need to eat, how many calories I need to eat in a day, how much water I need to drink in a day. Okay, so I have a sheet that I fill out every single day. A lot of people who do Weight Watchers have this themselves. I actually do mine through the Weight Watchers app. Um, but I also have a, a spreadsheet where every day I have to write in how many points I ate. And then I also have to write in how many glasses of eight ounce water I had because I know that I need to drink half my body weight in ounces of water. I also have on that checklist if I worked out or not because I'm committed to working out four days a week in order to achieve my health and wellness goals. So you have to find a checklist or a spreadsheet that works for you with the goal that you're trying to create, with the, with the end result of what you're trying to get to. Now, guess what? There are other people that you work with or other people that you know that are trying to achieve the same goal. Maybe it's a spiritual goal for you. Maybe you're trying to make sure that you are in the word every single day and growing a strong relationship in your faith. Well, maybe you make a spreadsheet of how you check that off every day. Maybe you are spending a certain amount of time in the Word, a certain amount of time journaling, a certain amount of time memorizing a scripture. Maybe you have one scripture a week that you're memorizing. And then you share that with other people that you know are trying to get the same results. I always find that if you can make a, if you can make a checklist or a spreadsheet that helps you, it's going to help others too. And it's always so much more fun to help others and to give them something that's working for you. So once you master that checklist or spreadsheet, share it with others so that they can master their goal as well and that they can be part of your actionable steps. Here's a great example of how I did just that. I realized that in my business, there were income producing activities, IPA, that if I did every single day, whether I saw results immediately or not, long term, they brought me results. So I realized that that was three, three, two, one for my team. Okay, they knew that they needed to do three reach outs a day, three follow ups a day, we needed to get two new contacts added to our list and do one social media post a day. So I made myself a spreadsheet, a checklist with boxes to check that off daily. It allows me to not only make sure that I do my daily reach outs, follow ups, get new people added to my contact list and do my social media share, but it also then helped me so I shared it with the rest of my team and others in the same business that I'm in. Okay, I also use the same approach to wellness goal of losing weight like I talked about and making sure that I check things off as I go.